So welcome back to the Zips Adventure, and we're back here in week number five. And as I said in the last episode, we're gonna try a little bit to fast forward this series along, because obviously the end game of this series is not to, you know, be an Akron Zips coach. I mean, we're an offensive coordinator here for the worst team in college football. And right now, again, this team is playing very well. They will be three and one after beating Bowling Green at 20 to 14. And, you know, as we're going to progress through the season, we'll see how Akron does play, but obviously already defying expectations as the next week they'll go on. They will beat Ohio. They beat the Bobcats 27 to 21, really doing well early on in the season, four and one for Akron as we go into the next week, taking on four and oh, Northern Illinois, huge matchup in the Mac. Can Akron pick up another one they will they take down niu 31 to 17 as they move into week number eight and that's what we're gonna play here in this episode because akron currently five and one as look at this recruiting board now a lot of recruits want to make their way on over to akron as we're five and one and we are playing for a spot in a bowl game this week which is crazy. I did not think we were going to be in this spot, but here we are. Akron is currently 5-1, our only loss being to number one Ohio State. I mean, yeah, they just beat Rutgers by three points. Obviously, we are not receiving votes for the top 25, but really, again, you look at Ohio State, a really good football team with CJ Stroud, with Travion Henderson. Their only, or our only loss comes to that squad, and you look at a recruiting board, a lot of guys, I don't really pause it as much as I should, honestly, but we've already acquired John Collins, who's a four-star receiver. He's going to be coming down to Akron. A lot of guys, we are high on their boards, and we're going to add to our recruiting board as well as I'm going to look to, you know, put some guys on our board that have currently low lock levels who don't really have any offers from any other schools and we'll see if we can add them to our team as well as we again look at Akron as really a two-year deal for us we're looking to move on from the squad probably after this year and look to go elsewhere but right now taking on Miami of Ohio a huge matchup in the mat considering we are on the same side of the conference as um the Red Hawks and it's a huge game for us really they are four and one their only loss coming to Cincinnati our only loss coming to Ohio State so obviously you know where you know, kind of how it works in Ohio. Cincy and Ohio State, of course, being the two better squads. But of course, we know we've shown that we can beat teams like um, we can go out there and beat a team like Bowling Green. We can go out there and beat a team like um, Ohio as well. And it's a huge matchup here in the MAC. Miami of Ohio taking on Akron. The winner of this game will likely go on to the MAC championship game. Obviously, still pretty early in the season. But you look at this. Both squads doing pretty well for themselves. Akron averaging 26 points per game. Miami with 25. Should be a good one this week again. Akron back at home taking on the Red Hawks of Miami of Ohio. And again, when we started this series, we said probably a two-year deal here at Akron. I I'm expecting to come back to this team next year. If we get offered the head coaching role, which I doubt, I'll take it. But really, we're looking to progress our way really in the offensive coordinator ranks. And then after that, we can look to be a head coach. But really, I'm, I'm hoping for a power five offensive coordinator deal after um, next season with Akron. If we do get, oh my goodness, DJ Irons. Right to the defender for Miami of Ohio. It's going to be an interception just like that. Akron's going to turn the football over, but I'm really looking for a deal. Hopefully in two years, you know, if everything goes to plan, Akron can win the MAC championship next year, maybe even this year as well. We can win a bowl game and then hopefully I get a spot maybe like, you know, in a Pac-12 school, a Big Ten school at an offensive coordinator position. And then after that, we can dip back down to the group of five and take a head coaching role. As DJ Irons is going to get this drive going. He'll find Adams to the outside for a gain of seven. Alex Adams will get it down to a fourth and one. Big spot for Akron. Here comes Irons out the gun looking to throw over the middle. He has got Williamson, but he drops the football. There's a reason they came into the season as the worst team in all of college football, and it's because of plays just like that. But really, the man who's keeping them in this season, I would say, DJ Irons, really getting it going on the ground through the air. He has been the man so far for the Zips. It'll be first and 10. He will get it down to his running back out the backfield. It will be Williams. Big gain of 21 right there for Anthony Williams Jr. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more NCAA Football 23 here on the channel as there will be a completion to Norrells. And John Zell Norrells will take the Zips for another first down as that's how we will close this first quarter here at the Maction. Miami of Ohio up early 3-0 on the road against Akron. So here comes Irons and the guys for a second and seven from the 25-yard line. He'll keep on a read option. He's been so good at this all season long. Barreling his way down for the first down. He'll lose the football, but it's picked up by, I believe, our tackle and Owen Murphy. First and 10 for Akron from the 15. Irons looking over the middle. He has got his receiver. It will be Knight for the first down. Jalen Knight down to the five. First and goal for the Zips. Irons out the gun. Hands it off to John Zell Norrells, and Norrells is in. 
five yard touchdown run for the Akron Zips as they will go up seven to three here at home against Miami of Ohio. We'll get the football back after the defense goes out and gets a stop and look at Norrell's go. Another first down will take the Zips over midfield for a second and nine. Triple option look, Irons gonna keep. Only man not covered is him, DJ Irons for a first down and a gain of 12 as Akron now deep into Miami territory for a third and four. Over three though on third down so far this game. Game. Iron scrambles to his right, looks to throw. Gotta just pitch it out of bounds. Irons and the Akron offense gonna come up unsuccessful in that drive and we will miss the field goal. Obviously, I'm only the offensive coordinator so I can't even control special teams. So that's out of my control. Only seven to three is our score, but John Zell Norrell is getting us back in to Miami territory with a gain of 12. Here comes Irons on first and 10, middle screen going to the receiver and Adams, he will be stopped short of the first down, but Alex Adams will be right there for nine and a half. Second inches for the zips. Irons dropping back. He'll dump it off to Anthony Williams. It'll be a lot of Williams and Norrells down the stretch for Akron this season as he'll pick up a gain of 10. Second and five for the Zips. Out the gun. Irons play action fake. Looking to throw it. DJ Irons gonna boot it to his right. Set his feet. He will get it to Alex Adams. Adams for the first down and a gain of 14 for this Akron offense. It will now be a first and goal within the 10 yard line. Handoff going to Anthony Williams Jr. Williams up the middle. Touchdown. Zips. It's an eight yard touchdown run for the Akron Zips as Anthony Williams puts them up by 11. Miami gets the football back. They score a touchdown. We're now into the second half. Second and 10. It will be a handoff to John Zell Norris. It was a read option, but Irons, of course, going to give it off to the running back for a gain of 12 yards. Now it's a third and 14 now for the Zips offense. Irons going for it here on third down. Akron's one for six on third. They'll now be one for seven as Miami gets the football back. They will not do anything with it. They'll punt it right back to the Zips offense offense for a first and 10. Irons looking to throw to his right. That ball will be caught. First down for Akron. Jalen Knight on the grab. Of course, big game for the Zips tonight. Not only is clinching a spot in a bowl game on the line here tonight, and also a big game in terms of the MAC conference as Irons going to stay in the pocket. Over the top, he'll find Jalen Knight. Gain of 35 for Akron. Iron stays in the pocket. He fires. Big conversion for the Zips as the first and 10. Iron's looking to run. Gonna try to score here. Oh, big spin move. Oh my goodness, get out the way. DJ Iron gets into the end zone. One of the better runs you're gonna see. The Zips go up by 11 off of DJ Irons' crazy touchdown run, but Miami scores right back. Of course, though, big play right there. Alex Adams to the outside. It'll be a big conversion for Akron. First and 10 from the 45 yard line. Irons on a play action fake. Looks over the top. He will find the tight end. Big first down. He'll stay on his feet. And a huge play for Tristan Brank as Akron will now have it down into the 35 yard line. Onto the 35 yard line. First and 10. Irons to his right. Ball is caught. First catch the day at a drop earlier, but Jameel Williamson for again a 17 yards as we'll go into the fourth quarter. First and 10 for the Zips. Read option. Irons is going to keep. Watch him work. First down. Oh, he's short, but gain a nine right there for DJ Irons. Setting up for that second and one. Full house in the backfield handoff. John Zell Norrells has got it for a gain of three. Moving the sticks will now be a second goal for this Akron offense from the five yard line. Read option. Irons keeps. Can he get in there? Yes, he will. DJ Irons for a three yard touchdown run as the Zips go up by 11. Let's see what Miami does with seven minutes to go. We go to the Super Sim and they will score. Gabbert gets him in and oh my goodness. Miami scores, they get an onside kick and they get back in the end zone. So just like that, Miami scores 14 unanswered and Akron's down by three. Third and inches handoff. Williams has got the first down, but all the pressure on the Zips with three minutes to go. They were considered the worst team in college football to start the season. What can they do to potentially become bowl eligible and put themselves in a really good position to make the MAC championship game? It'll be a first and 10 at the 50 yard line. Iron's gonna hand it off to John Zell Norrells. The run game has been superb for Akron all season long as a gain of eight for Norrells will give him the first down. Second and two now for Akron. It will be a speed option. DJ Irons has got the first and a gain of five. Here comes Akron again at two minutes to go. Read option. Backup quarterback in the game and Cam Wiley. Apparently Irons got hurt on the play before. You know, Wiley is a natural running back. He doesn't really play quarterback, but he can run the option. He can run it effectively. Second and one. Wiley first down Akron again. 
Gain of four, can we get Irons back in this game so we just have a little bit of a threat in the pass game and he'll be back in. First and 10, a minute 25 left to go. DJ Irons looking to throw. Gonna take the shot to the end zone tonight. He has got it. Touchdown, Akron, Jalen Knight. 24 yard touchdown for the Zips and they'll be up by five with a minute 20 to go. We don't play defense and Miami of Ohio cannot get into the end zone. DJ Irons and the Akron Zips are now bowl eligible. They will have a postseason this year at Akron and they are looking for so much more. Six and one to start the season. Undefeated against teams not named the Ohio State Buckeyes. They win by seven here at home against the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. It's an absolutely huge victory for the Akron Zips. You look on now, I mean, we're looking at a MAC championship game potentially. You're looking at winning that MAC championship and if everything goes right, and if Akron can somehow stay undefeated, obviously we're gonna sim a lot of games down the stretch here. If they can stay undefeated, you are hoping this team could potentially get into the rankings and honestly, make it to a New Year's Six Bowl game. That's what you're hoping for now at this point for the Akron Zips. And if that does happen, we can really accelerate this process, at least for us as the offensive coordinator of this team. If you can get Akron to, you know, even just ranked, you are 100% potentially looking at offensive coordinator jobs for some big schools. And maybe just maybe even if we really want to accelerate this pace, a head coaching job somewhere. We'll see what happens, folks. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more Zips here on the channel. Thank y'all for watching and Mamba forever.